All right, welcome back, everybody. This is the fourth run. This is Space Panic. I think this is the oldest of the games. Uh, it says 83, but I think it was actually on the arcade in 81. ColecoVision didn't come out until 83, so nothing's older than that. But uh, uh, This game involves you being a spaceman of some sort who has to uh, basically dig holes to bury aliens, um, to drop them from large distances that kill them. Uh, if you touch them, you die. And there's no other way. You can't drop anything onto them except other aliens, which is the one major um, speed trick involved. Uh, I believe DK9146 in chat had told me what the enemies were called. I've already forgot. Um, I will give them my own names. <laughs> but basically, it's just clear them as quick as possible. And we go for six rounds because that's basically as far as you go before the game gets really tricky. But uh, let's go ahead and start. So those are the three enemies on the screen. The first one we'll see in these first few levels, I like to call the uh, tomato, tomato monster. So we have dug a hole, tomato walks into the hole, tomato is dead. That is all the more complicated the, name, the game needs to be, but uh, it gets to be a bit frantic. You could say it's even a little bit of a panic later. <laughs> That's the first level. That one is 100% uh, planned because the RNG always seems to work out the same way. That's the only level I got that works this way. Uh, so level two, we have five of them now. Uh, and I... The... Maybe the safest, but the easiest way to deal with a lot of these levels is to go as high as possible. And there we got our, t our first twofer. Let's go, all right, we manipulated him. You can, you can actually manipulate these enemies to an extent, but they seem to have like a 50-50 judgment when they hit ladders if they're gonna go at you or go some random direction. They tend to just bounce off of ladders back and forth. Um, Oh yeah, Space Fury did that two years ago. That game is a lot of fun. I am again going with my strategy of just get as high as possible um, because I can actually fall through the holes myself if I want. I'm just gonna chill here. Somebody will show up at some point. Oh, too close. And I did it again. I knocked them on top of each other. Uh, maybe somebody will show up at some point. Actually, where I'm positioned, I think I'm going to manipulate all of them into never coming my direction, so. Here we go. We might get one this way. Maybe. They bounce into each other, and it doesn't seem to change their, their pathing. It just makes them go back to where they came from, so we have... Oh, shoot. I, I hit the button too early. Uh... Let's see if I can get the guy down here again. Oh, I did it too early. They, they try to get to you, but they don't always understand heights very well. There we go. And... All right. Those are the three easy levels. Now we get the, uh, the green pepper guy. Um, I just assume that they're all vegetables. And the green pepper guy will not die if he falls one floor. He has to fall two floors. This is really annoying. And uh, as a result, I'm going to do everything I can to not have to do that. Here we go. Let's see if this works. Ah, well, he went up. Nope. And getting two floors to line up perfectly is a gigantic pain. Uh, we're gonna go back up. Stay up, stay up, dude. Stay up, please. There we go. So that actually worked out. He falls two floors, and now he's dead, so... <laughs> Mr. Green Pepper guy. Absolutely, he's a giant pain in the butt. Um, that worked out. After level six, we get the, uh, the blue guy, who, um... I often run out of time on the level before I can actually finish up and take him out, because he's such... A, a little goober, and we'll just keep. There we go. Um, 
just keep over and over uh, running into your holes before you can get to him. And uh, this is no good. So what's he gonna do? Okay, he went down. Good. This is actually great. No, no, come back down. Come, no, come back down, green guy. No, not. Okay, you know what? <laughs> Never mind. Here is a fun strat. Wait. What's he gonna do? He's gonna do that. I'm too far over. See, if he goes up the ladder, I'm good. There we go. Now, wait. Fall. Dig the hole. Ah, I did it too late. Dang it. So, I'm going to, as a speed strat, just die. <laughs> Uncooperative aliens. <laughs> that sounds perfect. Um, because I have no idea if I was going to kill that blue guy. Unfortunately, if you fail to kill somebody in a hole, they get promoted. Uh, to the next tier. And I never want that to happen. Because it's terrible. <laughs> Just in case he decides to come while I'm not paying attention. Uh, okay. You know what? Ah, uh, you know what? I'm not going to get to it in time. I'm dead. I'm dead and stuck. <laughs> so, as I mentioned before, uh, this is where the game's not... They don't get uh, easy anymore. And uh, as far as I can tell, the levels that you get, the layout, is like a time-based thing. Alright, are they going to get out of my way? Or... Okay. There we go. This could work. Got him! Nice. That's the speed strat. Drop the people on top of each other. So uh, now we have level six, where we have seven enemies again. Six tomatoes and one green pepper. And uh, this is it. This is, uh, you have to be really careful when you have a lot of enemies like this to not goof around <laughs> at all. Um, I am going to kill a few of them as quickly as possible. You know what? No, we'll just, come on, make up your mind. I'm stuck, <laughs> and none of them, no one's coming over here. There we go. And by stuck, I, I don't mean I'm actually stuck, but uh, this game... Can I build it? Can I get it? That guy's just gonna... Okay. No! Dang it, I'm, I'm dead. Shoot. So... Unfortunately, I I shouldn't corner myself, and I did that. But because the the level layout is not consistent, it's a little tricky to know exactly what to do. And these tomato dudes do not ever decide. Oh, I did that wrong. Okay, we'll just do this. This will work out perfectly. Or not, because I thought that guy was going to fall. Oh wait, this this worked out perfectly. There we go, we got rid of the green guy. Now let's see, is he going to come over? He is. And I am going to get out of the corner, because that's not a good idea. And you are correct, he said. Uh, that is what I do, I dish out life advice. Not just for video games. Alright. We're just gonna, we're gonna chill. This is not going particularly fast, but we didn't die, and that's the most important thing. And time. So, that was Space Panic and 849.97, but I did beat it. Um, and you can see how the levels alter. Now we would have a uh, tomato, 
the green pepper, and uh, I don't really know exactly what sort of fruit is blue. I guess you could call it an eggplant, but I don't eat eggplant, so uh, that is it for Space Panic. Um, and it kind of looks like a crab. Are there blue crabs? I know there's a blue lobster. Uh, <laughs> uh, shout outs to a underscore blue underscore lobster. Um, but yeah, that's it for Space Panic. I'm gonna get annoyed with the noises. Uh, next up we have Escape from the Mine Master, which is a very different animal. Not even 100% sure it was actually released on the ColecoVision. I think this was a, uh, one of those people found a prototype and finished it. But I might be wrong. Anyway, I'm ready for break whenever you guys are. 